CHP is outraged over a Dunn police traffic stop now coming to light. WRAL obtained dash cam video of the 2012 arrest, which includes a chase and an officer kicking the suspect. Cullen Browder was the first to report on this last week. He joins us now with a new reaction from the NAACP. Cullen? Well, Catherine, the NAACP wants two things. They want more attention, more awareness of this traffic stop, and they also want one of the arresting officers off the force. This is Dunn Police dash cam video from 2012. It's a traffic stop for speeding. Then an officer tells Seneca Jackson he smells marijuana, orders him out of the car. Instead, Jackson takes off and leads police on a brief chase. Once he stops, officers force him to the ground and handcuff him. Then during a heated conversation, a female officer identified as Lieutenant Carrie Jackson then kicks the handcuff suspect in the side. The NAACP is frustrated this didn't come out until five years later. Why didn't we know? And why wasn't we aware when the assault took place? Or even a month ago, they claimed to have been made aware of the video. They failed to do something about the violence of the officer. Who assault anyone in handcuffs so we spoke with Seneca Jackson last week about this arrest. He didn't attend the news conference today. He told us he was treated badly, but he was not injured. Now, the Dunn City manager responded with this statement, uh, quote, as the final decision maker for personnel matters, it is not appropriate for me to comment on the specific actions in the video. However, I do want to tell the residents of Dunn that I expect the highest level of professionalism and accountability for actions from all employees of the city. Still no uh, decision, no, not publicly at least, on any uh, discipline for uh, Lieutenant Jackson in this case. But Catherine, the NAACP tells us they will continue to push. An ongoing story for sure. Cullen Browder in the newsroom. Cullen, thanks.